That's much better. Oh. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. And today, like I promised, I was going to show you an overall uh, review of the truck. You know, going around like the outside, you know, the front end, rear end, whatever engine, all that good stuff. But unfortunately, it's a little bit windy today. So, you know, and I have to make a video today because I have no, no time in, during the week. So, nonetheless, here it is. And I'm just going to go over kind of like a, how it rides, why I chose this, and and just explain to you guys why I, ch you know, I chose this over a diesel or any other car, you know, like a Mustang or a Shelby or whatever. But nevertheless, let's, you know what? Let's just get this thing started. Turn it on real quick. And uh, so it's running right now, and the exhaust is, it's fair, you know, it's not loud, but it's you can hear it, especially when you guess it. And I'll show you that in a few seconds. But nonetheless, let's let's take it out. And right now I'm like in a little park, and there's it's kind of bumpy, but it should, you know, well, you're probably not going to catch that on camera, but at least you'll get, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. How about that? Let me just adjust my mic because last time I did this, I messed it up, but I think that's good. All right. So let's go. It's starting. And it's not super muddy, but it has been raining quite a bit over here in Texas. with a few seconds flip this behemoth all the way around all right oh, darn it. Coming. all right here we go come on I'm just waiting for that guy to pass that bridge that's the only thing I'm concerned about all right let's do this pedal to the floor So you know, man, we're over here just cruising. I know it feels like it's insane, but it is not bad at all. Look at this, I'm like almost practically not holding the steering wheel. All right, now let's slow down because we're going pretty fast. <laughs> but like I said, this is such a fun truck. I mean, I cannot stop getting, I can't get enough of it. I mean, every time I drive it, I want to drive it more and more and more and hit rumps, like go off road. But man, I know I gotta, I can't do it, but uh, it's fun. All right, so that's the suspension and Bottom line is great. One of the best trucks I've ever driven in terms of uh, how soft it is. I mean, it's so freaking soft. I lifted, I, I lifted, I've driven lifted F250s, lifted Duramaxes, and those things are like freaking hard. I mean, you can't even hit a bump without like breaking something. Well, not literally, but you know, it feels like it is. But yeah, suspension's great. All right, so moving along to why I got this truck. So the, the main reason I got this truck is because and I feel like, I know I don't feel like a broken recorder, but I've driven everything, anything you can imagine. Every 3500, every 2500, Cummins, regular, you know, gasoline, diesel, all that. And to be honest with you guys, I was not, believe it or not, I was not happy. I didn't feel like, oh man, this is the truck I'm gonna get. I didn't have that that factor that, you know, that, oh, I want it. No, I, I just drove, I drove it and I was like, Am I willing to pay this much for this truck? You know, and then I thought about, can I take it off road? What can break? Is it reliable? Of course, you know, diesels are reliable, but what's, what happens if, you know, and I had those questions run through my mind all the time. Well, not all the time, but you know, whenever I was looking at trucks and I just, I didn't have that, you know, that, mm, if that makes sense. <laughs> I know it sounds cliche, but I just didn't get that. Hold on, a little bit, it's pretty hot in here. And... Tilt it. All right. Yeah, and I didn't have that, and I was like, "Am I really gonna do this?" And uh, uh, deep down, and I was like, "There has to be something out there that's fun, pretty much reliable, and you know, not so much about gas launch." But remember, keep that gas launch crap out of here, and just get it out of, the, throw it out the big, throw it out. Don't even think about it because you're gonna like kill yourself. <laughs> you're not gonna like it, but. Oh my goodness. You know, and I'm like, look at this. I'm like a little kid. I'm still, I'm saying, oh my goodness, like what, 10 times? I'll keep a count, by the way, so you guys can check it out and just, you know, bash me on the comments. But, and it's not only that, but this thing is pretty fast. I mean, a diesel is fast and all, but I think this is a little bit quicker, if I'm not mistaken. I'm well, it might be faster, but I feel like it's a lot faster. How about that? 
so don't bash me on that. I know diesels are quick, especially when they're tuned and deleted. I know they're fast as heck, but come on, yeah. All right, so once again, going back to why I got this truck. So number one was, it's fun. Number two, it's reliable, I think, in my opinion. And number three, I just can't compare it to any other truck. Like, like I said before, I just can't. I mean, there's nothing out there. Well, I wouldn't say nothing. I would just say that, you know, in terms of what is rolled out of the factory line without any modifications whatsoever, I think the Raptor is, in my opinion, the king. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, beat on the bush. I'm just gonna, you know, the facts are there, you know, Dodge and Chevrolet, as far as I know, haven't come out with something that, you know, you know, as a matter of fact, they don't even make like videos, like comparison videos. I haven't seen any. I don't know if you guys, if you have, let me know, because I really haven't seen any videos between Raptor versus a Rebel. It, okay, so when I say, you know, a, a, a comparison, I don't mean a freaking driving and just feeling it. I'm talking about like taking it off road, beating the living tar out of it, see who comes out on top, see who doesn't break an axle, see who, do, who doesn't get stuck, you know, just things like that. That's what I mean by a good comparison video. You know, you can make a video of driving it, but I mean, Anyone can drive the truck and it doesn't even have to be off road for it to have a good comparison. I mean, yeah, I may mean, have the package and all that, but as long as it drives, you know, straight in the line or whatever, I, I, you can't really compare it. I mean, there's really no way other than, you know, taking it to what it was designed to do off road, Baja, you know, and if those, if any other truck comes on top, you know, then that, in my opinion, would be a really great video. And that will, you know, just show you that the Raptor, I mean, hell I mean I don't even think yeah I, I just can't think of another truck but anyways yeah those were one of the three top main reasons I got this truck and and I was really happy once I got in it once I got in it and I test drove it and I was like oh this is it this is this is by far one of the like the best trucks I've ever driven and I know like in the beginning I'm not gonna lie to you but I've never liked Raptors I always thought they were overpriced they were gas guzzlers and I was like man those things are pieces of you know what but then when I got in it, oh man, my perspective changed completely, man. I was, I was like, let's make a little bit of dust over here. Oh wait, no, dirty or muddy. But anyways, yeah, that's, I just got in and I said, this has to be it. I mean, I can't, there's no other, other truck that I got the same uh, feel, the same uh, fun factor. I just can get it. I mean, this was it. I just knew it. And I know it sounds cliche. I got in and I knew it, but it's this really the truth. I mean, I loved it love it so much that I and that's why I got it but yeah those are one of the reasons the main reasons I got it and before I end this video I just want to let you guys know that I'll make a, a, a detailed you know just walk around the whole truck just you know give you a little show the engine and all that good stuff and you know the Fox shocks Hell, I might even throw it up on some jack stands and just like go really into detail and but right now I can't it's too windy and I just can't do it right now I don't want to you know voice the whole not a waste a whole afternoon, but I, you know, want to enjoy my <laughs> my weekday. But nonetheless, you guys, uh, you know what? Uh, should I take it off road? No, because you can't really see it. I would rather have the GoPro mounted outside so you can see what you know the suspension movement and all that. But nonetheless, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will see you later.